that once you know these tools and you know that they work, it's, it's not good enough that, that I'm just doing okay. Traveling the world and meeting the people that, I, that I've met, you know, talking with these leaders in the various fields, they want help and they are depending on people who know and who can be effective and do it and that's us that is our responsibility to do that it is the time now now is the time okay it is being a Scientologist people are turning to you so you better know it you better know it and if you don't you know go and learn it, you know? <laughs> but don't pretend you know it and, and or for, you know whatever it's like we're here to help I mean if you're a Scientologist you see life you see things the way they are in all its glory you know all of its complexity uh, and the more you know as a Scientologist you don't become overwhelmed by it <laughs> and uh, They said, so, like, have you met an SP? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at them, <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful thing, because maybe one day it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day it will be <laughs> Wow, SPs, like, they'll just read about those in the history books, you know? <laughs> the thing is, I just go through that tech, and it's it literally, it's, it's not... <laughs> How to run from an SP. It's PTSSP, how to shatter suppression, confront shatter suppression. You apply it, it's like, boom. Because they don't come up to me and do that. Uh, they won't do it to me. Not to my face, you know, or anywhere in my vicinity where they feel they can be confronted, you know. It's not doing it. Look, I wish the world was a different place. I'd like to go on vacation and go and romp and play and just do that. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what I want it to be, okay? That's how I would, you know, there's times I'd like to do that, but, but I can't because I know. You know, you can sit here and wish it was different, and then you look at it and you go, okay, this is it, all right, okay, and there's that moment where you go, <laughs> you know, I have to do something, don't I? Yeah, I really have to do it because I can't live with myself if I don't, and, it's, and that really is it. I don't care if someone thinks it's hard or easy, it's you're either helping and contributing everything you can, or you're not, okay? Uh, because I'm carrying my load, all right? And only that, as much as I'm carrying, I still feel like I gotta do more, all right? There's still a thing of, let's go. You can just see the look in their eyes. You know the ones that are doing, you know? And you know the spectators, who are the ones that are going, well, it's easy for you, or what am I doing? And it's just, that thing is, uh, I've canceled that in my area. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, you're either in or you're out. That's spectatorism, and it's something that, that is, we have no time for it now. So it's our responsibility to educate, create the new reality. You know, we have that responsibility to say, hey, this is the way it should be done. Because we do it this way, and people are actually getting better. And let's get it done. You know, let's really get it done and have enough love, compassion, and toughness. That, that you're gonna do it uh, and uh, do it right. And I have to tell you something. I really, it, it is, you know, it's rough and tumble. And it's wild and woolly, and it's a blast. It's a blast. It really is fun because, damn it, there is nothing better to going out there and fighting a fight and suddenly you see things are better.
I want to know that I've done everything I could uh, every day. And I think about those people out there who are depending on us. And uh, I think about that. And it does make me feel uh, like, man, I got this. You know, we got more work. I need more help. You know, get those spectators either in the playing field or out of the arena. You know, <laughs> that's how I really, that's how I feel about it. I do what I can. And I do it the way I do everything. <laughs> There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> A Scientologist can be defined by a single question. Would you want others to achieve the knowledge you now have? In answering that question, Tom Cruise has introduced LOH technology to over one billion people of Earth. And that's only the first wave he's unleashed, which is why the story of Tom Cruise, Scientologist, has only just begun. He's given us study technology, he's given us a data series, he's given us PTSSP tech. We have the ability to improve conditions, to see the realities, to be able to fight and have the courage to be able to crush these guys. Specifically, psychiatric drugs at the core of all education failures and which were wreaking violence across American schoolyards. Spelling out the links, he dropped letters in the laps of the 100 most powerful people in media and education. And then again, right to the top. We were able to work with the Food and Drug Administration and talk to them a little bit about this and raise some questions. And sure enough, uh, about three or four months later, the cover of Time Magazine, are we drugging our kids too much? And yes, of course, we are. And we have to do something about it. And that started an avalanche with legislation in states across the U.S., an outright ban in the U.K., and the FDA finally mandating black warning labels on psychopharmaceuticals. But when it comes to whole track suppression, Mr. Cruz doesn't only hit them at the flanks. Not only has Tom Cruz personally toured more people through CCHR than anyone I've ever, ever known or seen, but he also has gotten people that he knows to do the same thing. Tom is more involved in CCHR than any other Scientologist that I've come across in my 27 years. Oh, I'm going hard at those guys. I'm going to end their reign. You know, these uh, psychiatrists, I just, I've had it. Absolutely had it. It's disgusting to me. We actually have uh, an easier time getting people off heroin than methadone or these psychiatric drugs, and I've worked very diligently to educate people uh, about this. How they can justify it and how suddenly becomes this reality of it's okay, you know, because other people can't confront it. Psychiatry doesn't work. Uh, you 